Here we have the 2022 Ford Maverick. You can see underneath there's a, a lot of shields. The rectangular hole you see is for an air intake for the uh, power takeoff unit. This is a two liter with a four by four option. There's 15 screws holding that plate on, so that's you have to remove it to do an oil change on this. So here's it with the plate removed. The plate's just there for aerodynamics, improve gas mileage. You can see tip, it uh, starts out as a front wheel drive. You can see the front half shafts. The two liter is the same unit they're using in uh, back in the old Escape. There's the oil filter, pretty accessible once the plate's out. There's that uh, PTU or the power takeoff unit for the four wheel drive. It uh, has an on off solenoid so it can disconnect completely. You can see in the back of the engine it's pretty tight. That plate there behind the uh, drive shaft is a cover for the turbo just to keep the heat down. You can see on the drive line they're using uh, CV joints pretty much everywhere and all the half shafts too. It's uh, expensive but it keeps vibration down. two-piece drive shaft. You can see the rear half shafts. Pretty typical layout. Coil spring rear suspension. And uh, you can see there's a lot of wiring underneath this thing. Uh, because they put a box there, they have no place to put the wires. Typically that would be inside of a car, so they have to move all of that wiring to the outside now. Uh, you can see the trailer hitch adapter, four and seven pin connector, and the hidden muffler. No uh, visible tailpipe here. Uh, this rear differential unit is uh, it has a clutch pack inside and it's electronically controlled and it will vector the power from one side to the other depending on uh, how much what slippage is going on here uh, there's part of the control unit at the top it's pretty tough to get in there to see it That's a transmission oil cooler. Uh, that thing beside the oil filter there is a coolant pump for when you're in stop start mode. Under the hood See, they kind of tuck the horns in a weird spot. But other than that, they've put the battery pretty much exposed, the air filter housing, you know, all the spark plugs on the top of the engine or, you know, the coil packs are right there. It's, uh, it's pretty open. Even all the headlight bulbs and connectors are right there to get at so it's pretty user friendly for uh, maintenance there's the ABS pump tucked way down in there
and there's very little room between the fan and the front of the grill. I guess that's why they push the horns out to the fender area. There's no room up there. But like I said, the headlight bulbs and everything are right open for you. Overall, not bad for maintenance, for your do-it-yourself maintenance guy.